morning to land and welcome to our gyan jyoti online classes and today we will discuss our new topic that is topic number 13 we will do the exercise of our last topic that is topic number 13 what wandering singers okay <coughs> wandering singers so i just uh, i suggest you to please open page number 133 okay 133 that is we will do the question answer section comprehension section of this topic first or uh, first of all okay so here first question for you is whose wandering feet is the voice of the wind calling whose wandering feet is the voice of wind calling okay so the singers wandering feet is the voice of wind calling okay The singer's wandering feet is the voice of what? Wind. Okay. So whose wandering feet? It is the singer's wandering feet, which is the voice of wind calling. Number two, what tells do the songs depicts? Okay. What tells do the song depicts? The tale of the laughter and the beauty of. Women long dead, the sword of old battles, the crown of old kings, and happy and simple and sorrow. See, so, so, oh, these are the tales. The songs depict. Okay, song depict about the tales of what? Laughter, the laughter and the beauty of women long dead. Okay, the sword of old battles, the crown of old kings, and happy and simple and sorrow things. So, what does the poem tell you about the wandering singers? So, in question number three, what does the poem tell you about the wandering singers? The poem tells us about the band of folk singers. Okay, so who are wandering singers? They are the band of folk singers. They are the group of singers who wander from place to place to spread the message, okay, of love and ancient times through their singing. The poem tells us about the band of folk singers. Who wander from place to place to spread a message of love and ancient times through their singing. So it is the wandering singers. It is the group of singers who move from place to place and spread the message of ancient things, ancient uh, women, how they used to live their okay, how do how they live their life. It also speaks about the old kings, uh, about the kings in ancient times. how they rule their dynasty okay so this all sorts of things are been spoken here okay by the wandering singers so how do the singers decide their next destination okay how do the singers decide their next destinations through their voice of wind the singers decide their next destination okay so through the what voice of through the voice of wind okay the singers decide their next destination okay <clears throat> so once again i repeat it the singers wandering feet is the voice of wind okay so first question is who wandering feet is the voice of wind okay <clears throat> so the singers wandering feet is the voice of wind theek okay. hai what tells do the poem depicts to kaun sa tells theek hai kiske bare mein poem बताया जा रहा है ओके द टेल्स ऑफ एक्चुअली द पॉइंट टेल्स अस अबाउट द टेल्स टेल्स ऑफ व्हाट लाफ्टर एंड ब्यूटी ऑफ वुमेन लाफ्टर ऑफ वुमेन की जो लाफ्टर है ब्यूटी है उसके बारे में क्या है डेफिक करता है इसके बाद क्या है स्वर्ड्स ऑफ ओल्ड बैटल्स एंशियंट टाइम में जो बैटल्स हुआ करता था ठीक है ना उनके आ, उनके बारे में है ठीक है ना और जो किंग्स थे ओल्ड टाइम एंशियंट टाइम में जो रूलर्स थे किंग्स थे उनके बारे में क्या वो यहाँ पे बताता है सो वट डज द पॉइंट टेल यू अबाउट टू वॉन्डरिंग सिंगर्स तो वॉन्डरिंग सिंगर्स के बारे में पॉइंट क्या बताता है एक्चुअली जो वॉन्डरिंग सिंगर्स है वो क्या है दे आर द फोक सिंगर्स ओके वॉन्डरिंग सिंगर्स आर फोक सिंगर्स जो कि एक जगह से दूसरी जगह को क्या है मूव करते हैं और हर जगह पे क्या है कुछ ना कुछ ये मैसेज स्प्रेड करते हैं बताते हैं एंसेंट अपना जो इंडियन कल्चर है ट्रेडिशन है उसके बारे में ठीक है ना कि पहले के जमाने में एंसन टाइम्स में पीपुल कैसे रहते थे हाउ द रूलर्स रूल देयर टेरिटोरी 
ओके उसके बारे में हम क्या है बताते हैं नंबर फोर इज हाउ डू द सिंगल्स डिसाइड देयर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन सो हाउ डू द सिंगल्स दे डिसाइड देयर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन ठीक ना नेक्स्ट कब वो जाएंगे कौन से जगह पे वो जाएंगे वो कैसे डिसाइड करते हैं सो दिस थ्रू द वॉइस ऑफ वेंड द सिंगल्स डिसाइड देयर नेक्स्ट डेस्टिनेशन सो एज हाउ द वेंड ग्रोस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर ठीक ना जिस तरह से जो वेंड है एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ब्लो करता है ठीक है ना जाता है उसी तरह क्या जो सिंगर्स रहते हैं फोक सिंगर्स वॉन्डरिंग सिंगर्स वो भी एक जगह से दूसरी जगह की ओर क्या है जाते हैं ओके कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दैट वाट काइंड ऑफ लाइफ डू म्यूजिक म्यूजिशियंस हैव टूडे वट डू यू थिंक देयर लाइफ वॉज लाइक इन अर्लियर टाइम्स ठीक है ना तो आजकल के जो म्यूजिशियन हैं उनके जो लाइफ है वो आजकल कैसा हो गया है ठीक है ना सो हाउ वाट डू यू थिंक देयर लाइफ वॉज अर्लियर इन लाइक लाइक इन अर्लियर टाइम्स अगर आजकल के ज़माने में जो म्यूजिशियंस हैं अगर वो पहले के ज़माने में कंपेयर करते हैं ठीक है ना उनके जगह पर होते तो वो कैसे अपना जो लाइफ उसको लीड करते रहते हैं ओके तो लेट्स डू सेडेंटरी Life styles and their life wouldn't have been as that of the earlier times. Okay, earlier how the folk singers, how the singers they move from place to place. Okay, so nowadays the musicians they do not move from year and year. Okay, so that is why they lead a sedentary lifestyle. Come to question number two, uh, comprehension A two that is explain these lines with reference to the context. Okay, so with reference to the context you have to. and said the question the first extract is with lutes in our hands ever singing we roam all men are kind of kindred the world is our home so what is the speaker trying to say when she says all men our our kindred okay so here that all men kind are like their extended family and the whole world is is their home so here the speaker okay she wants to tell that that all men kind are their I am like their extended family and the world is their what home. तो यहाँ पे जो speaker हैं वो बताना चाहते हैं कि जो जितने भी mankind है ठीक है ना जितने भी people हैं वो अपने उनके क्या है extended family हैं ठीक है ना वो उनके क्या है family members की तरह हैं और पूरी दुनिया क्या है वो उनकी उनके लिए क्या है उनका घर है okay because they don't settle in a permanent place okay as they were wanderers as they have to move from place to place number b can a whole world be one's home why or why not so according to them yes the whole world can be one's home according to them as they do not feel the need to have a permanent home okay as they will not uh, stay in a particular place they move from place to place okay so they don't need a permanent home and that is the reason that they uh, believe the thought that all that the whole world is their home okay then come to question number 2 that is our lays are of cities whose luster is shared the laughter and the beauty of women long dead the word of old battles the crowns of old kings and happy and simple and sorrowful things okay okay so question number 2 our lays of cities whose luster is shared the laughter and beauty of women long dead the sword of battles the crowns of old kings and happy and simple and sorrowful things so here who are the women mentioned here okay so who are the women mentioned here so here the women who are already dead and mentioned uh, are mentioned here okay so women who are already dead are mentioned here so this poem the ancient women okay <coughs> who have already dead who have dead are mentioned in this poem <coughs> Number one, why do wandering singers sing about dead people? Okay, so why do the wandering singers they speak about, they tell about, or sing about the dead people? Okay, the songs that they sing 
goes back to the stories of ancient patterns and of old kings who are now dead. The songs that they sing goes back to the stories of ancient battles and of old kings who have who are now dead. Okay, so these stories or uh, the folk singers they basically <coughs> sing songs relating to the past history. Okay, about the stories about the old kings. Okay, who have already dead. <coughs> Number three. What does the speaker intend by the first line? No love beats us carry, no joy beats us wear, no voice of the wind is the voice of our, the voice of wind is the voice of our fate. Okay, so here he says that or the first line suggests that indicates that no love can make them stay in one place and no joy can make them wait. Okay, so there is no anyone who can stop them in a place. No love, even no joy can stop them, make them stay in a place. ठीक है तो पहला लाइन में क्या कहता है? What does the speaker intend by the first line? First line से speaker क्या समझाना चाहता है? कि क्या है? उनको कोई भी love, कोई भी क्या है? Joy उनको एक जगह में क्या है? बांध कर नहीं रख सकती। वो पूरी दुनिया को अपना घर समझते हैं इसलिए क्या वो एक जगह पर रह ही नहीं सकती। is the poet complaining about feeling alone? Give reasons for your answer. Okay, so is the poet complaining about feeling alone? Give reasons for your answer. The poet who the poet जो है alone है, ठीक है ना? Poet alone है, इसलिए वो complain कर रहा है कि मैं alone हूँ, अकेला हूँ. Okay, so give reasons. So no, because they have uh, they are wanderers and they love their wandering lifestyle. They have vivid dreams about their future. So here the speaker. She don't think that uh, she is alone because she is a wanderer. That means she has to move from one place to another, and she had vivid dreams for the future. <clears throat> so she doesn't think that uh, uh, or think that she is alone. Okay, वो शो नहीं लगता कि उसे वो क्या है अपने आप को अकेला महसूस करती है, ठीक है ना? वो wanderer है, वो एक जगह पे तो रहेगी नहीं. और इस वजह से क्या वो पूरी दुनिया को क्या अपना घर समझती है इसलिए वो अपने आप को कभी क्या अकेला महसूस नहीं करती है ओके सो एट इज डिस्कशन सेक्शन दैट इज डिस्कस व्हाट विंड स्टैंड्स फॉर इन द लाइन द वॉइस ऑफ विंड इज द वॉइस ऑफ हर फेड ओके व्हाट डज इट मीन इट मींस दैट एज इफ हाउ द विंड दैट बोथ ब्लोस फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो इन द सेम वे द वंडरर्स मूव फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस ओके द वंडरर्स मूव फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस स्प्रेड्स ऑफ मैसेज of love and the ancient history of old kings, old women. Okay. <clears throat> what do you think the life of wandering singers is like? Okay, so the life of wandering singer is like that they, they have to move from one place to another. So in the topic itself, in the theme in the title itself is given their wanderers. Okay, the wandering singers are wanderers. Okay, so they don't settle down in a place, they have to move from place to place. Okay. So they don't have a sedentary lifestyle as of uh, as we have. Okay, we used to live in our home. We live in our home. Okay. So in the same sense, uh, they don't. Uh, but unlike us, okay, unlike they don't uh, stay in home. They move from place to place. Okay. <clears throat> so their life are not as similar as us. Okay. Because we believe that we thought that our will where we live is our house. Okay, where we live is our house. But according to them, the whole world is their home. Okay, so their life are completely different from us. Okay, then come to vocabulary section. That is, look at the diagram given below. This is despair. It means laughter, merriment. So you. Uh, you uh, know that merriment is a synonym, uh, synonym for laughter, while despair is the an, uh, antonym. Okay, so syn uh, synonyms and antonyms. So the synonym for laughter is what merriment, and the uh, antonym for laughter is merriment. Okay, synonym, antonym. Okay, or similar or dissimilar, or just a similar or opposite words. So syn uh, synonyms are similar words, while antonyms are but opposite words. So let's do some of the 
numbers okay okay so first word is what narrow first word is narrow or we can say the words is void okay the words are written here first one is void so what is the synonym for void narrow okay and for the antonym for the void broad okay void ka synonyms kya hai narrow similarly void ka antonyms kya hoga broad hoga b r o a d broad okay so what will be the synonyms of break because here antonym is already given that is break means continuation okay that means not that is uh, the antonyms of break is continuation okay so what will be the synonym for break it is your what pause okay it is your pause <coughs> number 3 what is the antonym for uncertain okay what is the antonym for uncertain synonym is settled and what will be the antonyms of uncertain it is the antonym would be your changeable okay changeable so the antonyms for uncertain is changeable okay number 4 the synonyms for disloyal is not reliable so what will be the antonyms for disloyal the antonyms for disloyal will be faithless okay faithless f a i t h l e s s faithless okay number 5 here both synonyms and antonyms are given okay significant antonyms is trivial so what will be the word what will be the word whose synonym is significant while its antonym will be is what trivial so the word is insignificant in significant okay so the word is insignificant whose synonym is significant while antonym is trivial okay so let's move on to b to that working groups of trees one of you will read a uh, read the word while the other two will suggest the synonyms and and antonyms for the word so take turns to play this game okay so here you have to make the synonyms and antonyms for the words okay so first one is first word is what achieve s e c h i e v e achieve okay so what will be the synonyms for achieve is be why antonyms will be lose number 2 idol what is the synonym uh, synonym of idol is lazy okay that is lazy and what will be the antonyms of idol this is active number 3 attack number 3 is attack so what is the synonym for attack that is strike while antonym will be defense number 4 generous its synonym is helpful while antonym is me noisy synonym is loud antonym is silent random synonym is casual while antonym is deliberate okay so for achieve synonym is gain lose is antonym okay idle lazy active attack strike defense generous helpful mean noisy loud silent random casual deliberate 
So these are the words, and these are the synonyms, and these are the antonyms. So in this way, you can write or make columns and write the synonyms and antonyms for the given words in the box. Okay. So note it down in your copy. So let's move on to grammar section. Okay. So here are given to uh, change these sentences into indirect. speak so before going to the uh, question answer section we should know about what is direct speech and what is indirect speech okay so direct speech is the sentence or words that speak exact uh, words okay here the speaker speaks the exact words so direct speech are the exact words spoken by the speaker okay so direct speech are the words that are spoken by the speaker why the in direct speech are the words that the speaker uh, are uh, what in direct speech are the words what the speaker has said without quoting his or her exact uh, exact word exact words okay so in direct speech are not exact words okay these are not exact words why direct speech are the exact words which are speaking uh, spoken by the speaker or in direct speech are also term is uh, term as your reported speech <clears throat> okay so here are some sentences given that where are you going the poet asks the audience singer so the first sentence it uh, uh, set tells us uh, tells you the exact words of the sentence okay where are you going okay <clears throat> so in in direct speech the words of the speaker are always written within quotation marks so in direct speech we can find uh, find that The words are written within inverted commas. Direct direct speech में जो words होते हैं exact words जो रहते हैं जो speaker बोलना चाहता है वो क्या है inverted comma में रहता है ठीक है ना वाइल द सेकेंड सेंटेंस इन इच सेट रिपोर्ट वॉट द स्पीकर हैज सेट बट डज नॉट यूज द एक्चुअल वर्ड्स ऑफ द स्पीकर दिस सेंटेंसेस आर इन द इनडायरेक्ट और रिपोर्टेड स्पीच सो इन इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच वी रिपोर्ट वॉट द स्पीकर हैज सेट विदाउट वोटिंग हिज और हर एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स तो इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच में क्या है हम कोई कोटेशन मार्क का क्या यूज नहीं करते ठीक ना हम वही बोलते हैं जो स्पीकर क्या है बोलना चाहता है ठीक है वट द स्पीकर हैज सेट विदाउट कोटिंग हिज और हर एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स ठीक है सो इन द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस शी सेट अ लाइक टू डांस इन द ब्रेन ओके सो इट इज इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच ओके दिस सेंटेंस इज इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच बिकॉज सम वर्ड्स आर रिटर्न विद इन द ब्रैकेट्स ओके सो शी सेट I like uh, to dance in the rain. So, what will be its indirect speech? Okay. So, its indirect speech will be what? She said that. She said that. Okay. She said that she likes to dance in. the rain in the rain okay she said that she likes to dance in the rain so uh, read the sentence okay she said i like to dance in the rain okay so yahan par wo kisi ko bata raha hai theek hai na ki mujhe kya hai dance karna pasand hai kisi barish mein dance karna pasand hai theek hai actually mein wo kya bolna chahta tha ki उसे क्या है डांस करना पसंद है ठीक है ना उसे बारिश में डांस करना पसंद है सो सी सेट दैट शी लाइक्स टू डांस इन द रेन नंबर टू रिधि सेट आई एम स्टडिंग फॉर माय मिड टर्म एग्जाम रिधि सेट रिधि सेट दैट शी वाज Okay, we really said that she was studying for a midterm exam for a midterm exam. What examination? Number three, Anu said to me, "You must work hard, Anu." That to me, that 
the bus work on number 4 shreya said i went to goa with my parents shreya said that she went to goa went to goa we her parents number 5 abha called from manali and said the weather is very pleasant here abha called from manali and said that the weather was the the weather was very pleasant the weather was very pleasant there okay so our called from manali and said that the weather was very pleasant there okay so in this way we will do the next five numbers so in the question number 6 she asked him can you come tomorrow she asked him whether he can okay whether she can <coughs> whether he can come tomorrow okay she asked him whether he can come tomorrow number 7 i must see a doctor said sudeep okay i must see a doctor said sudeep so this said that he must see a doctor <coughs> okay number 8 yeah i finished my project on time said barira barira said that she finished her project on time number 9 Trisha will not come to school today," said Priti. Priti said that Trisha will not come to school today. Number ten. Have you lost your worksheet? Asked the teacher. The teacher asked whether I had lost my worksheet. Okay. So in this way we can convert uh, direct speech into indirect speech. Okay. So let's move on to C two. That is change these sentences into direct speech. Okay, so here we have to change the indirect speech into direct speech. So first one, the teacher happily said that uh, uh, Arab was a hardworking boy. So we can convert this indirect speech into direct speech. Then Arab is a hardworking boy, said the teacher. Arab is a hardworking boy, said the teacher. Number two, Ali said he found the ring in the swimming pool. I found the ring in the swimming pool. Ali said. Or said Ali. I found the ring in the swimming pool. Said Ali. Number three. Miss Moitra said that she had lost her wallet. Miss Moitra said, "I have lost my wallet." The boy whom we met at the market said that he belongs to Kerala. I belongs to Kerala. Said that the boy whom we met at the market. Number five. Dennis said that she was scared of. He was scared of staying alone in the house. Dennis said, "I am scared of staying alone in the house." So, question number six is: Namis refused to eat apples, saying he did not like them. Okay. So here. So here. Question number six is: Namis. Okay. Namis refused. Nami refused to eat apples. Eat apples. And said. And said. I did not like them. 
Okay, so now means refuse to eat apples and said I did not like them. Okay, then come to pronunciation section that is read these words aloud. Pay attention to the highlighted letters. So here are some words like deal, bread, stream, spread, feast, wheat, trade, season. So you can get to uh, you can listen the words have different sounds like deal. It pronounced like I E that is E deal feast wheat stream season so it sounds like E while the words like dread trade spread it sounds like A okay so in the second number there is certain question D to make a list of words with different E A sound words in the box you have to mark out or make out the words which have different sounds words like ea okay so these are the words like the okay so the <clears throat> some of the words which have different sounds are bread okay bread spread so these are the words that uh, sound different from the rest of the words. Bread, bread, spread. It sounds a. And the rest of the words they sound like e. Then come to even the listening and speaking section. Listen to the text and identify the uh, profession of these people. So first one is Surika. Okay. Even Surika. What is her profession? Surika is a nurse. Okay, so by seeing the text, okay, you have to identify their profession. वो क्या काम करते हैं? वो हमको लिखना है ये देखकर, ठीक है? So Surika is a nurse. Kishan Khan. Kishan Khan is an agriculturalist. Agriculturist, okay. Prerna, Prerna is a lecturer. Minakshi is an architecture. Abdul is an engineer Hari Bhai is an embroider embroider okay so these are the profession of the people like Surekha nurse Krishan Khan agriculturist Prerna lecturer Minakshi architecture Abdul engineer and Hari Bhai embroider okay तो ये क्या है उनके profession से वो क्या क्या काम करते हैं ठीक है ना ये people क्या वो क्या काम करते हैं okay so in this way we have completed our the whole syllabus okay we have completed our topic number thirteen modeling singers so hope you have understood it properly okay and if you don't then you can call me okay so thank you and have a nice day. Stay home and stay safe.